Sunshine Tri-City is live from the farmer's market here in Kingsport, right at the beautiful food city. Oh, and we've yeah. got a beautiful audience today. A beautiful audience, a lot of orange out there in honor of Pat Summit today, and I love it. I very, love it very all. nice. We are we are honoring Pat Summit. Yes. We are celebrating the kickoff to a holiday weekend. Yes, I see we you are. Have your orange on. I have I got my, my orange UT on. Bracelet. I've got my vinery bottle ready to go. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> We are set. Yes, we are also celebrating a huge day, mm -hmm. July 1st today. It is Independence Day for wine in Tennessee. It that really is, is right. They are selling <laughs> wine at Food City. We are so excited. It is historic. I'm glad to be here this morning. Saw that first bottle of wine go across the cash register this morning. So nice. Yes, it yes. has been a big day for a lot of folks, and we want to bring in Steve Smith, of course. Uh, Steve, it's a huge historic day for, for Food City and for communities all over Tennessee. Well, it is, Amy, and we're excited to be able to sell wine in our 69 eligible stores throughout Tennessee, from Chattanooga all the way to Bristol. Uh, we had uh, Representative Lundberg here earlier today. He was the House sponsor. Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey was instrumental in this. We're proud to have East Tennessee politicians that listen to the consumers and help deliver what they want in our stores. So we're excited about it. And, and we were talking earlier, too. You, you were on the show a, a couple years ago. We were talking about the process. I mean, it's, it's been a road. It has. It's been seven or eight years uh, trying to get this passed. And again, I think the two keys were number one, the legislators heard from their constituents, they heard from the consumers, and number two, it was a referendum by community. 78 communities had the right to vote, and 78 communities voted to sell wine in supermarkets, and we're proud of that. Yeah. And you love it when your consumers come forward and tell you what they want on those shelves, don't you? Well, you're right, Chris. That's, that's our job. We listen to the consumers. Our job is to deliver what they want. And uh, whether it's fresh produce that we're going to talk a little bit more about today, whether it's wine, whether it's certified Angus beef, our job is to deliver the best products that we can to meet their needs. And you have such a big selection. I mean, I was in there earlier, two full aisles loaded to the gills. We are. We've got a great selection of wine. Our folks have done a good job getting our stores set. A lot of hard work went into that. Unfortunately, we had to move a few things in some of the stores. I'm sorry to our customers if we <laughs> moved your items. But I think we've improved the store. Anytime you, you get new items in the store, it makes it a fun place to go and shop and see new items. And you had a big event this morning to kick all this off. we got some video we're going to roll right now. These, these bottles played a big part of that this morning as well. Well, they did. We celebrated this morning at uh, a little bit before 8. We, we popped the cork on some of these uh, wine bottles. At 8 o'clock, we sold the first bottle of wine here in our King Sports store and quite honestly throughout our company. So I think the consumers came out. They knew what today was. <laughs> big day. And you even showed us your receipt a little earlier. Right. And you got the time right on there. And, and that's a special momentum. Yeah, it was not 7.59. I want to be it clear. Was it was not. It was, it was 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock on, on the on the on the dot. <laughs> we, we, we were completely legal today. How'd it feel? Well, it felt good. It really did. Uh, you know, it, it was a long, hard process to get this done. But again, if you, if you believe passionately in the state of Tennessee, keeping tax dollars here in our communities, it's the right thing to do. And, and uh, we know it's going to bring millions back into the state coffers. It's going to keep time in our consumers' Uh, pocket because they don't have to make two stops to buy wine. It'll give them a lot of pairings with our seafood, with our meat, with our great produce and cheeses in our stores. So we think it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, I and think I love it opens the, up a lot of avenues oh, yeah. too for people who might be intimidated mm -hmm. to be able to come into their grocery store and just talk to the guys and their store managers that they've known for years and give some different products a try. Well, that's right. A lot of our folks are, are in the process of learning. Here in the King Sports store, we've got a young lady that's very knowledgeable about wine. She can help you. She'll be in the aisles. She'll talk to you about, you know, what the right uh, red wine is with a nice steak or a nice burger, what seafood items pair well with a good Chardonnay or a good Sauvignon Blanc. So, again, we'll educate you. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's pop the cork on these right Are now. you ready? Is Are our ready? audience It's ready? audience going to count us down. Okay. All right. Here we go. Count us down. Three, three, two, one. Coming up in just a few minutes. I think we need some brooms. I think I'm with you. <laughs> The premier sponsor of today's daytime Tri-Cities is Food City. 